Bruce Norris's The Low Road imagines a young man inspired by a chance encounter with economist Adam Smith. His path to riches becomes entangled with that of an educated slave, a man who knows from experience that one person's profit is another's loss. We headed to the public theater to talk to director Michael Greif and the stars. Oh, this play is a fantastic, juicy, picaresque tale. It's about uh, the birth and education of uh, uh, a young man named Jim Truitt. Uh, he's still quite a young man at the end of the play, and it's a lot about how he uh, garners a philosophy and how he puts that philosophy into some use. Setting it in that world around the time of Adam Smith and the incubation, as it were, of economics as we know it, um, is very fascinating because although it's in 1750, it could be in 1950, it could be in 2050. I mean, that's the beauty of it. The play is rooted in economics, but as in Adam Smith's, in his own words, things happen that you don't intend. And so they go a different way. And it's, it's light, it's fun, it's informative. You find out things you didn't know, I hope, and it makes you interested, you know, to find out more because it is the world we're in right now. With 17 actors and 50 roles and a time-traveling plot, the stars of The Low Road cover a lot of ground. Bruce does have us doing very different things, which is very nice. So you're not treading in your own territory again, although people are sometimes um, socioeconomically in different positions or they may represent similar things from one era to another or from one one scene to another. It has a lot of the demands of a musical or like a Shakespeare play, just in terms of managing large communities and making sure that uh, focus and clarity is always clear, but within a really raucous and really fun and what I hope feels like a, a, a loose structure. 